Time is running out. The EV3s are disappearing quickly and soon they'll be all gone. So if you want to get your hands on one of these EV3s, you better act quickly before it's too late. What's going on with the EV3? And more importantly, how much time do we have left? All right. Now I can turn off the scary news reporter persona. How's it going everyone? My name is Kyle and you are watching Builder Dude 35, a YouTube channel that's all about everything in the world of Lego Mindstorms. And right now, I bet I know what you guys are probably saying to yourselves. What the heck is going on? Let me give you guys the Spark Notes TLDR of what's happening right now. Last month, I published a video conveying to you guys a recent announcement that LEGO Education made regarding the retirement of the beloved EV3 Robotics platform. LEGO Education announced that in June of 2021, that's this year, they're going to discontinue the EV3 product. At the same time, the retail version of the EV3 LEGO set has been discontinued for a while, and now you can only buy it through third-party vendors. So now here's the thing. People like you and me still want to buy the EV3, but LEGO is not going to produce any more of them and they're soon gonna stop selling them. So that means there's a sustained demand of people who want to buy them, but the supply is going just ratcheting its way downwards. Time for a quick little economics lesson. Whenever you have a sustained demand of a product whose supply is gradually dwindling, that's a recipe for the price of that product to skyrocket because now you have a scarcity. And as a matter of fact, that's already what we're seeing happen to the EV3 right now. When I published that video one month ago, again, just one month ago, the price of the EV3 was around $448 on that site, which is already way too much. That's almost $100 over its original introductory price in 2013. But now, when you go to that same exact store listing, the price is up to $469, which means in just four weeks, the price of the EV3 has already increased by $21. Maybe that's a result of people panic buying EV3s in response to my last video. I like to tell myself I'm important enough to influence the microeconomics of the Lego market, but who really knows? The point is the price of the EV3 is increasing and it's only going to keep going up from here. So if you're thinking about buying one of these EV3s, you better jump on the opportunity now before they get too expensive or disappear completely. This is just a cautionary tale for all of you Mindstorms enthusiasts out there. But what if you don't believe me? Well, we've seen this happen before. Back when the EV3 first launched, specifically talking about the LEGO Education version of the EV3, that came with a rechargeable battery pack included in the LEGO Education EV3 set. And when it first came out in 2013, the rechargeable battery pack as a standalone unit was available for purchase at around 65 US dollars. But LEGO Education quickly started experiencing supply chain issues, which means they weren't able to produce enough of these battery packs to meet the demand for them. Then the price of these battery packs started increasing. First it went up to $80, then last I checked it was up to $100, and now if you wanna to try to find one of those, all I gotta say is, <laughs> good luck, because they're almost impossible to find these days. That's because you had a sustained demand for this product. Lego had to keep putting these rechargeable battery packs in every education EV3 set but the supply couldn't keep up with the demand. So we saw the price of the battery pack ratcheting up and the price of the Education EV3 set itself also increased by about $100 since 2013, all because of supply issues with the battery pack. It's just economics. And I can only imagine that something very similar is about to happen to the EV3 pretty soon. And we're already seeing it start. By the way, if you're really anxious about the EV3's retirement or worried about what the future of the EV3 might be in FLL, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be following the story and all of the developments as they unfold and reporting them back to you guys. So watching my channel weekly is the best way to stay up to date on all of these events as they unfold. And that actually brings me to an interesting question. If you had the last EV3 set in the world and you knew it, what would you build with that EV3? 
Let me know in the comments below. I'd really love to hear your guys' thoughts. Before you freak out and start sending angry emails to the LEGO CEO, let me share you a little smidge of hope that is at the end of this tunnel here. If you remember back in 2013, 2014-ish time, this is right after the EV3 was released and the NXT was considered obsolete, LEGO Education actually had a Firestorm sale on the NXT. They tried to sell their remaining inventory at deeply discounted prices to get it off of the shelves. So back then, you could pick up an NXT for something around half of its original retail price. And it's not out of the possibility that LEGO Education could do something very similar with the new generation of Mindstorms coming out, doing a Firestorm sale on their remaining EV3 inventory and selling it at a discounted price. With that being said, I wouldn't count on this happen. I personally don't think this will happen, given how high the demand for the EV3 still is, even with the new generation of Mindstorms already here. By the way, if you wanna learn more about the new gen of Mindstorms, I did a review on it. You can click on the link up here at the top of the screen. It's pretty cool. Even though I think it's unlikely, it's not out of the question that there might be a Firestorm sale. Just don't hedge your bets on it. At the end of the day, I can't tell you how to spend your money. That's not what this video is about. The purpose of this video is not to tell you to go out and run buy something or to whip you up into a big panic. I'm just your friendly neighborhood LEGO Mindstorms enthusiast trying to keep you informed with all of the things and relevant updates that are going on in this world so you can be as informed as possible and not pass up on any opportunities and regret it down the road. Just trying to help you guys out here. And maybe, just maybe, this is an opportunity to start turning towards the next generation of Mindstorms as a more affordable option as the EV3 price skyrocket on the second-hand market. If you're interested in learning more about the new fourth generation of Mindstorms called Robot Inventor, I have a whole playlist of videos that teach you how to get started with this robotic set and honestly learn everything there is to know. The playlist keeps growing every single week and I'm constantly updating this playlist with more tutorials to teach you how to get the most out of this robotics platform for FLL or other purposes. By the way, I'm not sponsored by LEGO to tell you the new generation of Mindstorms is cool. I'm I'm telling you it's cool because I honestly do think it's really awesome. I know the EV3 retirement has been an emotional roller coaster for a lot of us. Feel free to vent your thoughts in the comments below. I always love hearing what you guys have to say. I'll be watching this whole story as it unfolds and reporting as much as I can back to you guys as it happens. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Later.